Hello traders, it is Saturday, March 30th. This week I've been sending you out videos. I've sent probably three or four videos out through the course of the week. My intent is to show you the features within an option stalker and how powerful the searches and the signals are and the indicators and then to find stocks just so that you can see trades that are setting up for excellent moves. I didn't stop there though. With each new video I went back and first reviewed the picks in the prior video. In almost all cases we had the stocks moving our way. You have the proof the system works. This is what we do day in and day out and I'm currently running a special offer on Option Stalker. This is a huge savings. One year for $999. This is a savings of $600. You do have to sign up for the year. You're going to get Option Stalker, which I'm going to be showing you again right now. And that includes a video that I'm going to be recording every Wednesday night. It'll be similar to this one where I highlight features and show you some great swing trades that are setting up. Option Stalker is phenomenal for day trading and I'm going to show you the only indicator that I use to day trade the S&P 500 at the very end of the video. So www.oneoption.com Option Stalker $999 for the year. This special offer is going to be ending tomorrow Sunday March 31st. I'm sorry for the previous audio issues that I had. I decided to re-record the entire video. So let's get started. This is the S&P 500. You can see that it has gone nowhere in the last month. We had a little head fake breakdown, a little head fake breakout, but for the most part it has been tight around this horizontal resistance level at SPY 281. Fairly tough trading conditions, but not if we look for relative strength within the overall market. So that's what we're going to be doing. That's our edge, finding relative strength. So I'm going to start by going to lists. So I click lists and then I'll use the drop down Thursday video. This is the last video that I sent you. We're going to review the picks to see how they performed. So we're going to start with ACIA love this stock you can see that was Thursday here's Friday stock pulled back just a touch this is the breakout and I'd mentioned using this as our stop out point right here pretty volatile stock if you wanted to you could even widen this stop to the 5280 level because you can see it's choppy but it wants to go really good volume and I'm going to overlay the volume indicator so you can see it's above zero indicating good volume. I'm going to overlay the SMA. Click SMA, click 200, click 100. I like to always have these major moving averages up. Then we're also going to click 10SI. The default is 10. That's fine. This will show us relative strength and weakness. So now I've got my charts set up. Everything is so easy. Toggle on, toggle off. All of the major indicators are right here. So they're very accessible. If they're in the way, toggle them off. So I like this ACIA trade. Expect some volatility. You can use this as your stop if you want to keep it pretty tight. You can keep this as your stop if you want to give it some room to move around. But this stock goes higher. ALKS, love this breakout right here through horizontal resistance above the 100 day moving average. Plenty of room to get to the 200 day moving average. It had an excellent day on Friday. We'll zoom out by clicking the minus magnifying glass and you can see down here it's got lots of upside potential. DSW is one that we found using the post earnings search in the previous video and I'd mentioned to you that the stock was nailed after earnings. You can see here that the earnings were before the open and the stock pulled back and now we have a very tradable situation in that video this is horizontal support now horizontal resistance this would be our trigger this is our entry point that was Thursday here's Friday stock pulled back on Friday did not break out so our alert was not triggered we need the stock to trade through this horizontal resistance line and when it does that 
it will fill in this gap and that's worth about a 10% move. Very nice move. So right now we've got our alert and we're waiting. Love this chart pattern. Nice breakout through horizontal resistance above the 100 day moving average. Really nice upward trend line. Excellent relative strength to the market. Eh, okay volume, about average. Lots of room to that 200 day moving average and you can see how it traded higher on Friday. So another nice mover here. Let's zoom out real quick. Lots of upside. You can see a little bit of an inverted head and shoulders formation right here. Neckline right there and the stock is through it. Love it. KBH was an earnings play, a post earnings play. We want to buy this breakout right in here. And so we've had an opportunity to buy it there. We'd be close to the stop out. We don't want the stock to drop below this level. It does tend to be choppy. Breakout, retrace. Breakout, retrace. Breakout, probably going to retrace. So on this particular one, I think waiting a little bit for this pullback to run its course is going to give you a good entry point. Perhaps it gets back to the 200 day moving average. It should find some buyers right in this level and then go. So the next bounce higher should be a good one. This is one of my favorite ones, NSC, Norfolk Southern. Beautiful horizontal breakout. You can see that resistance line right here. You can see on Friday, finished higher. It's above the major moving averages. Excellent relative strength, good volume. Really like this one longer term. And we'll zoom out. You can see how it's getting through the all-time high right here. Talk about an inverted head and shoulders. There's one shoulder, there's the head, there's the other shoulder, there's the neckline. Boom, it's gone. It's a very nice pattern. So I like NSC longer term. RL, Ralph Lauren. Nice little breakout right in here. You can see the stock moved higher on Friday. It's above the 200 day moving average. This is your stop out point right here. You want this breakout to hold. So, the beauty of this game plan is you have very limited downside. You've got a nice, easy, natural place to put your stop. If that technical support is breached, you want to get out. So, you have unlimited upside and very contained downside. You've got relative strength. You've got good volume and a lot of good things working for this stock. This is just a fantastic stock right here. Shake Shack exploded higher on Friday. There was Thursday, there's Friday. Gets through this horizontal resistance level above the 200 day moving average. Fantastic relative strength, good volume. This stock is going higher. Let's zoom out. Lots of room to go. This $63 level would be the first place to take some profits. And right now it's at 59. That's a four point gain. Very, very nice. So take at least some of it off here and see if it can challenge that all-time high. Really like this price action. Looks great. So there's, this is what the stock did on Friday. It never looked back. It just kept grinding, grinding, grinding higher. I should mention that real-time quotes are included in the option stalker platform. So if you want to look at intraday charts as I just did, you'll be able to. You won't need a special brokerage account or anything. It's included. So love this one. Great breakout. Final one that we had reviewed on Thursday. We went through many because all we did was look at a pop bull search. I'm going to bring that up in a minute and we'll find some new trades for Monday. But uh, lots of candidates. Really nice here. Good breakout right in here. Approaching the 200 day. Given the other nice candidates that we have, I would hold off on this one till it can get through the 200 day. Let's zoom out. Oh yeah. Lots of room to run. Look at that, up to the $33 level. Big downtrend. That downtrend line has been broken. Got the 100 day moving average there, the 200 here. It gets through that 200 day moving average. I want that alert. This is a GTC alert. Doesn't matter if it happens tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now. When it breaks through this level, I want to know. And the beauty of this for swing traders who do after hours analysis is that if you're very diligent about placing these GTC alerts. 
you're going to log into your computer and one day you're going to have three or four pop-ups waiting for you when you log in saying hey look at me before you start your analysis you set an alert I'm reminding you that this is a price point that you're interested in so you may not even have to mine for stocks they'll be delivered right to your doorstep so let's go into scanner and let's see if we can find some new trades very quickly here and to click pop bull one of my favorite searches you may not need to look anywhere else so we're just gonna do the top five and see what comes up love this horizontal breakout above the 100 day moving average good relative strength good volume needs to get through this 200 day moving average and it almost tried to do that on Friday let's place an alert there if it gets through I want to know about it zoom out take a look at the longer term picture oh yeah room to run to maybe even twenty dollars really nice just that easy really nice horizontal breakout so I've got this search dialed in it's called pop bull and it has a counterpart called pop bear this is my first stop every day I take a look at what's coming up in this search gorgeous breakout through the 200 day moving average great relative strength big volume this stock wants to go let's zoom out look at that upside the market right now is starting to grind a little bit higher it's pretty flat even if the market pulls back a stock like this that's been heavily beaten down has plenty of momentum on its own to push higher in a flat market and that's what we're looking for really nice exp ATHM big long green candle probably some news on this one great horizontal breakout above the 100 day and 200 day moving averages relative strength it has uh, good volume I don't like this huge green candle I would like to buy it on a pullback at least halfway up that candle so we'll call it a hundred dollars if it pulls back here I'm gonna get an alert on it then I would be more interested and if it came all the way back or almost all the way back right in here 9750 I'd even be more interested because if I can buy it here I can keep my stop very very tight but it has all of the other elements that I like two more stocks BB earnings before the open you can see how the stock gapped higher and got through horizontal resistance and the 200 day moving average you've got longer term horizontal support right here so this would be your stop out if you bought the stock right now I'd like to give it a day or so to make sure that it's not retracing which is typical of these gaps higher so I'm going to put an alert I'll bracket it I'll put one up and I'll put one down a little bit lower right in there see that candle there almost corresponds to the low right there so if it pulls back I want to know about it if it rallies I want to pull uh, I want to know about it I'm gonna zoom out it has some upside but it's pretty choppy okay big pullback big reversal not my favorite candidate let's move on TGTX love this chart I'm gonna be trading this on Monday higher lows got horizontal resistance right in here you've got a nice breakout through the 200 day moving average you've got heavy volume you've got relative strength building here you don't need options on this one this is an eight dollar stock let's zoom out lots of upside even up into the fifteen dollar range that's almost a double at sixteen dollars it is a double so plenty of upside potential now it's going to try and fill in this gap right here it has a very easy path to nine dollars that's a huge percentage return that's a twelve and a half percent return that's huge and it could happen very very quickly I love this stock I'm going to be trading this on Monday I think you should be trading it on Monday as well so I'm going to zoom out get back to my normal view and I've had a lot of interest in the S&P 500 indicator that I day trade so 
I'm going to take off a lot of the uh, other indicators so that we can focus on one and only one indicator. This is the S&P 500 SPY. I'm going to a five minute chart and I'm going to put on my one OP indicator. Stands for one option. I know, very creative on my part, right? I'm going to expand this lower pane so that you can see the price action on Friday. Here are some main takeaways. Here's your first hour range on Friday. Very, very compressed range. You get a little bit of a head fake on the downside, and late in the day we get a little bit of a head fake on the upside, but it's spent almost the whole day in an extremely tight range. These are impossible days to try and make money in if you're trading futures. We need movement. But using the 1OP indicator in the chat room, I was able to make decent money trading the futures. So here you can see how the indicator is drifting lower and lower right from the open, and that's actually what the market did. Kept drifting lower and lower. Look at this. All of a sudden, and this is not after the fact, this is beforehand, it's saying right in here, buy me. You can see how the, uh, the S&P rallies. This was probably a four-point move right in here. And then we start to roll over and we get another cross right here, a bearish cross. That's another four points right there. Things start to bottom out a bit. It starts to turn positive right in here. And you get a little bit of a grind higher with a final rally at the end here. But very quiet day. If I were going to give you a more typical day because of the price movement, we had a little bit of price movement on Thursday. So let me go in and show you that very quickly. The opening move, we had a little bit of a gap higher on uh, Thursday, and then prices started to really flatten out. So right in here it's saying, yeah, you can get long. Uh, you better be thinking about getting short in here. Really nice short that's set up. Now we start to get a compression in here, and the indicator goes positive, and you can see how it stayed positive for all of that move. Made I believe 12 and a half points day trading the futures on Thursday. That's a super solid day in a very flat market. This indicator is spot on. You can see later in the day you get a little bit of a dip, then it catches this move in the close. If you trade the S&P 500, you need to have Option Stalker. So all week I've shown you how easy it is to find these stocks and to use a few simple technical indicators that you just toggle on and toggle off. So that's what Option Stalker subscribers are going to get for the next 365 days. Every week I'm going to be posting a video with new swing trades and we're going to be reviewing the swing trades from the prior week so that we can take a look at what our game plan was and most importantly how the stock performed. This is all about confidence, and once you start getting confidence that this system and these indicators really work, you're going to be off making your own money, creating your own searches, and I haven't even touched upon the custom search engine. It's so easy to use. It's binary. You just toggle the time frame on and off, bullish, bearish, start creating your own searches. There's so many things that you can do with it, and I have a very extensive library of videos that I've recorded and I'm going to keep adding to those videos that's in stalker training even if you don't sign up go into stalker training and watch some of these videos I'm sure you'll learn an awful lot please take advantage of this special offer nine hundred and ninety nine dollars for the year would usually cost you sixteen hundred dollars I rarely discount my products so this is legitimately a great sale to take advantage of thank you I hope to have you as an option stalker.